Hi, I'm Real Genetic Demon, and I am a self-confessed Linux user. I've been using it now for in excess of 11 years, but recently, and if you saw my Twitter feed recently, you saw that I rebuilt my PC. Now, my head was turned by the Windows 10 and a gaming laptop that I purchased my daughter as part of a Christmas present. She was there playing games that, from Origin and Steam that were just not available to the Linux community as it stands. Now, I thought in my wisdom that it would be a great idea, a fantastic idea, to take a spare license that I actually happened to have for Windows 10 from a laptop that I was no longer using and rebuild my PC. Now, my PC um, has served me well for the last five years. It has got a decent amount of memory and a reasonable video card and a decent uh, quad-core processor that does me just fine in Linux. Just perfectly. It works fine. I never have to do a thing with it. It just works. It works for my, myself. It works for my wife. It works for my son and it works for my daughter. They log on, they can't do any damage, they can't do anything wrong with it. So, in my wisdom, I thought, it's time that I did something different, that something move on um, from the Linux world so that I can um, play more Windows PC you know, games um, and enjoy that ecosystem that's out there. So I went about the process of backing up my data a process that took over 15 hours. Yes, I have a lot of data. It stems right back to 1989. I've been storing everything I've ever used and everything I've ever done since then. So yes, it's a lot of data. So, um, bearing that in mind, I then proceeded to format my SSD hard drive so that it could become my system drive um, for my Windows 10 build. So I built it on there, my four terabyte drive that I had as, as my secondary sort of home drive in the Linux world. Now, bear that in mind, home drives, by the way, because this is one of the key things that drove me nuts. But here we go. I install it. I bung it onto the machine. I put, I put, I, I put the, the username in and I wait. And I wait. And I wait. And I update. And I wait for it to install. And when it's done, I then have to find, not in the App Store, but the things that I've been using for years and years and years. Things like Office Libre, which is a which is a free equivalent. Well, equivalent. It's not Office. It's not Microsoft Office, but it's good enough for what I do at home. I had then, then to find the other applications that I've been using in my Linux world for a long time, including OpenShot and audacity all of which i had to download manually from individual websites because hey they're not on the app store well that's okay that's absolutely fine you know they're not there i then had to download my drivers for my nvidia video card separately with a separate update program in it and it's all not it and it all doesn't attach and I was already starting to have wobbles. And remember, I've been a Linux user for 11 years. I even have the same styling of my desktop that I've had since 2006. In 2006, I made a conscientious decision to move away from Windows 10 simply because Microsoft changed the licensing between Windows Vista and Windows XP. In Windows XP, the licensing said that you owned the, the copy of the product. It was yours. In Vista... You lost that ownership. You were licensing the product from Microsoft. It was no longer your product, and it hasn't been since Vista. So I made the decision and conscious decision to move away. So back to the, 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 the machine itself. I was having some serious uh, doubts that uh, having a, a, a Windows 10 was going to make me feel happier. So I started, though, the process, the long, convoluted process of first shifting all the locations of my user files over to my my terabyte D drive, as the Windows has to name them, um, move them over there so that, so that uh, um, things were not stored on my smaller but faster SSD drive, the place where I want the operating system to boot from. That's it. Updates and operating system. 
But no, there is no simple way of doing that for Microsoft. You can individually move the desktops. You can individually use the doc, move the documents. You can individually use and move the uh, f um, pictures and videos. But each one individually needs you to change them actively for each individual user. Now there's four users in my household, so I had to go through the process of doing this for each individual user. At that point, I wanted to copy the data back in that I had. I picked it up and I started copying it. The time read, well, many, many days, as Microsoft often does. Um, and it started to copy the data back. And I started to use the machine. And then I realised that, that I couldn't um, change the desktop in a way that I wanted to. I realised that I didn't like the way the files were laid out. I didn't like the fact that I still had a user directory on the machine itself. I didn't really like the fact that, that I had to use an antivirus again. And that's a very key thing because I scanned my Linux machine and by the way, I scanned my Linux machines for one particular reason and one particular reason only. That's so that I don't pass on any horrible Windows viruses that I may have in a file that doesn't affect my computer. Virus checkers, they're for the Windows user. They're not for the, not for the Linux user. Us Linux users, don't worry about that thing. And the most amazing thing happened last time I scanned. I found a virus in a file that was over 20 odd years old. And it was a false positive at that. And it was it, it made me laugh. I'll put it on the screen, you can see. So uh, he, here's the thing though. So I'm shifting all this around and I'm shifting all of this. And I'm realizing as I go along that the flexibility isn't there. The flexibility that I've enjoyed in both Ubuntu and in Linux Mint. And that doesn't make me a serious Linux user, by the way. I'm no retro, I'm no, no Arc user or anything similar. I don't, don't, I don't aspire to be the, the greatest user in the face of the planet. I am happy with a nice Debian-based um, Linux distribution that is rock solid and can't be broken. But the point here is that I could do what I wanted to do. The flexibility was there. I could alter my desktop within Linux Mint so that it looked like the same desktop I used in GNOME 2 way back in 2006, a format that I quite like. It's very similar, in fact, to the style of the current Apple Macintosh, except for the fact that I don't like the dock at the bottom. I like more of a uh, an active um, user sort of area for my programs, an active task area. Well, I can't do that on, on Microsoft's product. In fact, I'm very stuck to what I can do. I can't resize icons to any size I want because I want to have a large folder that says um, YouTube assets because I have a lot of things that I like to do on YouTube. Hey, 800 videos and counting. So I couldn't do that. I could, yeah, I could change the icon for it, but I couldn't change the way that it actually physical size on it. Now, the other thing is... I don't need multi monitors. In, in the Windows world, it's a pretty common practice for people to have more than one monitor. I don't need multi monitors. I have a way to do work um, uh, workspace switcher, which allows me to switch between workspace and workspace and workspace and workspace. In fact, I can't even remember the number that it goes to, but let's just say I've got four at the moment, which is equivalent to having four monitors that I can swap between at any time with a few pushes of buttons, or I just click on them. Now, that means that I can be working on one thing on one desktop and another thing on another desktop. I quite often work on a video on one desktop because I don't want it interfering with the tasks and the jobs I'm doing on the same desktop. Now, these don't seem like, these things they seem, seem like luxuries or something that will be developed in the future, but these are things that have been around for a very long time. They, some of these switching predates sort of uh, the early Unix builds that Linux is based on. These are all flexible tools. I don't... I, I, I mean, here's another thing. And when I did decide, and I did decide, it didn't take long for me to decide to move away, back off Windows. I spent all day playing with my PC to the point to build it back. I actually timed how long it took me. Now, you've got to remember, there's still 15 hours worth of data. I actually timed how long it took me to rebuild my PC and put on all four users and the data for three of them being my, 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 my family. Uh, my own data obviously excluded from that because it's going to take 15 hours one way or the other. Um, but it took. I timed this. I pushed the, the, my timer and away it went. In under 15 minutes, my PC was rebuilt. 
In under 45 minutes, I had transferred all the data back from my family members onto their areas, including creating a user for myself, and was copying my own data back. 45 minutes. It's, it's a phenomenal um, package. Uh, and I think the moral of the story and the thing that's going to... That the thing that, that, that really is the moral of it all is I'm just going to have to wait. I I don't like the inflexibility of, of Windows. I don't like the fact that that, 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 that I'm in Microsoft Secret System. <laughs> I love this one. There's a place the gamers um, sometimes comment on my, my post that, uh, um, you know, oh, console users, you know, whatever else is, you know, scum of the earth. In, in the group that we're in, we're in that closed ecosystem of, of Sony or, or Xbox. Well, yeah, Xbox is Microsoft, guys. And let, here's the other thing, the most interesting of all. Windows PCs are a closed ecosystem. It's another closed system. It's not. Linux is actually the only true open system. If you want to be a PC gamer, don't be a Windows PC gamer. Be a Linux gamer. Those are the people who are actually in a truly open environment. My product does not push telemetry back to Microsoft. My product is mine and mine alone. I can alter it in any way I see fit. This is the reason why it's a much more robust operating system. And I have to admit, I started this conversation about you know the change and having my head turned. My head was turned because I wanted more from, from games. There are games. In the last three or two or three years, we've seen an explosion of Linux games, an explosion of even some of the, and I say it in inverted commas, some AAA supporters of the Linux environment. Hey, Shadow of Mordor's on, 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 on Linux. Um, it that's no small small game to actually have on the, on this environment, but the true open um, environment is definitely that of the Linux user, and I'm proud to be a Linux user, and I will continue to be so. And I had a little wobble there, and I'm sure it won't be the last time I have a wobble over 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 Windows and something that I quite like playing, but I would rather hold on and wait. For everybody else to catch up with the fact that actually this is the environment that we should be playing on. Anyway, um, enough of my little rant and my sort of history of what's been going on. Um, I do hope you enjoyed this this weird video. Um, I've been your host, Real Genetic Demon. Um, please feel free to like and subscribe and I'll catch you soon. Bye bye now.